All right, <clears throat> we're finally, ignore this, ignore all of that. Um, we're finally going to unbox the Staccato. Staccato, it's two C's. And um, this is the streamer for the, um, hold on. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff from, oh, what's the, what's the, uh, uh, Earman, thank you. I've got the Earman DAC, the Earman amp, the Earman linear power supply, but I didn't do a review of the stack until I got the Stataco, which is their music streamer. Because I'm sort of getting into music streamings, like not fully, this pillow's there, I gotta move. But like, it's nice when you have something that you could just tell your FUBAR install or your rune, just be like, hey, um, yeah, do play this over there. So I'm not, I'm not against, I'm not opposed to music streaming. It used to be that music streaming and like music boxes were these like eight, $9,000 machines that everyone got who was old because old people don't understand how this newfangled internet works. So they would go from their vinyl records to a stream box that they were getting way overcharged for. But now it's just a streamer box that sits there and then you have to have some sort of technology elsewhere to make the go. This is not gonna come off of here, is it? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I'm not gonna cut it. Maybe go on the bottom, from the bottom lip and left. Hold on. Oh, it's hurt. I'm gonna cut my fingernails. Oh, wow. So the problem is that there's this thin, nice piece of, ooh, beautiful on the outside. And then this box on the inside. But it was cold out and it was delivered. So maybe if I warm it up, it'll expand. Just, just, just jack the whole thing to the warmth. Because it's not glued. <sighs> there's so much surface area. Usually I'd put this in the corner of the table and push, but I can't get a hold of it. It's too tight. Uh, I don't want to cut this. Uh, nope. Maybe a can of like compressed air, like blow it in here and make it hover out like a hovercraft. <sighs> I'm probably just adding moisture to that and just, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna cut it. That sucks. I don't wanna have to do that. I've never, I haven't had to do this in like ever. Ever. Like maybe once have I had to cut it. Like an IFI, IFI are usually the worst. Oh, wait. I got a little more. My blowing worked. If it didn't have COVID, it's got COVID now. Ah. Ah, oh, we got it, another inch. Well, we're at about an inch. Uh, uh, uh. That's never going back on. That's a Garen fucking tea. That, I'll just put this back on. It's not going back on. I might as well just throw it away. Nice Earman box. Little, little corner notch. Take it out, nothing printed. It could say Earman on it, it didn't say Earman. Here's the Staccato Streamer User Manual, Music Without Limits. This is made in Serbia? I think they're made in Serbia. Hold on. Yes, made in Serbia, AKA Europe. Guy's super nice, I meet him all the shows. Safety instructions, the Earman um, Calabri. The Calabri was the, uh, the little uh, dongle deck that I was like really impressed by. Like I brought that to, I brought that to Chicago. And then I ended up bringing the SG-1 uh, Pegasus uh, Death and Ray to California. So I went different. So here's, look how we have an app. We're gonna be collecting to an, actually it's gonna be signing into the network, hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Download the Earman app. Okay, we gotta get the Earman app. Earman app. Put that down. I like the little cutaway corner. Just to make it like nicer to take things out. <sighs> they can't really, you know what? Holy fuck, I gotta end this video. Oh my God. Oh my God, I gotta end this video right the fuck now. 
I just had a trillion, like I'm gonna be that asshole audiophile. I gotta make a fake website. I gotta pay for positivefeedback.com to review it. I'm so, I'm so stupid and now I'm brilliant. Fuck it, I'll give it away, all right? Maybe pasta, make sure you ask me if I'm going through with this because I don't want to put, put throw a billion dollars out of the thing. I'm going to sell audiophile antennas for streamer boxes. I was like, look at this plastic piece of shit. Like, it's the same plastic antennas and everything. And I know for a fact you can only make an antenna so good, and it's not going to affect the sound quality at all. But I know Dan, and he actually works on radio antennas. And even if it was just a joke, if we invested, like, money and time into making audiophile-grade Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas, that would be fucking hilarious. Like, if we charge $500 for one, we'll put $200 worth of build into it. Like, we'll have it machined out of fucking gold or something. I don't know. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> and it would just be like, it would be like sharp and it would have just little anime titties carved into it. Because this is like the least impressive part of anything. If I, like, here, look at this beautiful unit. Like, carbon fiber isn't really carbon fiber, but then the glass front, if it was just like... And it looks like shit. As soon as you put the antenna, it looks like shit. It's got to look. Wow, I'm a I'm I'm a marketing fucking genius. Well, time to sell this piece of shit house because I'm gonna go move to Italy. I think Naples is beautiful. We're gonna go buy a on the Riviera. We'll do something there. It's gonna be great. Let me plug my fucking low end antenna onto this. Doesn't even have room connectivity. And then this goes up. So what do we have? We have nothing but a power button, digital power button, metal bottom. That rattle's annoying. Needs another screw in the center or some dampening. In case you're rocking out, it might make noise, but holy fuck, the build quality of this is so heavy. <sighs> so much room for waifu. Staccato, a uh, little LED, nothing, nothing, nothing. USB, coaxial toss link, LAN port, 12 volt antenna. Shitty antenna. It needs to be upgraded to a Zantenna, which is what a Zeos antenna would look like. Take that out. Take this out. Jesus Christ, there's so many layers. They didn't add the notch to the foam for this layer. They didn't add the notch to any of the foam for these layers. And then you have a double thing. Oh, we've got a universal power supply, which is a blank. And I need to give it not European. I don't even know what fuck country Germany maybe. I think it's Germany is different, right? Give me the American one with the with the holes. Throw the shit back in here. So there you go. I now have the staccato and a trillion dollar fucking idea. Even if it's a joke, make it worth it. Like here's the thing. There's that guy, and I tell a story on live streams. I'll tell you guys. There's a guy on Coney Island in in. The Bronx, Brooklyn? Where the fuck's Coney Island in New York? I'm a New Yorker, I should know this shit. But there's a guy there who makes like kitchen knives. And he charges like $700 a knife. And he makes them in this little shack with the wrong tools. I've seen this motherfucker try to do things. I'm putting it in here, watch this. I've seen this motherfucker try to like make a knife and he like lays it all out in a single sheet of steel. And oh, it's gonna go in. Oh God. Oh, I'm gonna put the corner off the edge so the air can come out. I, oh, this is never go. I'm gonna. Have to, uh, that's as far as I can I can go before I'm, I know it's never coming out. Um, he anyway, he takes like a layer of thing of steel and he's a piece of cardboard with the shape of kind of a knife and he markers it out. He's like a stoner. It's not a nice shop. This is a piece of shit shop, charging seven hundred dollars a knife. So he marks it out with some cardboard, like thirty different knives on this piece of steel. And what a normal person would do, if you're making $700 a knife, is you'd get one of those fucking water jets, or you'd even bring the sheet to a water jet place and be like, hey guys, here's $150, water jet me out all these knives so I can make them. But that would make the, 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 the hardness of the, the difficulty to make the knife would go down. So what he does is, he pulls out a fucking angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. And he starts angle grinding every single knife out manually in this little tiny hut where everything could catch fire. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Stop. But you know what? He does that, and then he does the thing, and then he quenches it, and he sharpens it, and he does it, and it's, it's worth $700 because the man kills himself to make a fucking knife. If he was like, all right, bring this to a thing, and then have this guy sharpen it, it, it wouldn't be worth $700. It wouldn't be special. So if I'm building fucking 
Wi-Fi antennas, I'm gonna bust my ass. It's gonna hurt, bleed. I'm gonna hand sand every fucking contact on it. And then I'm gonna charge way too much, but it'll be worth it. Because I would have busted my ass doing it. That's my point. You could sell people expensive shit, overly expensive shit, as long as you put the effort into it. If it was, even if you're stupid, like that guy is dumb as fuck. There's no reason to cut it out with a fucking thing and then to start sharpening, like, like to start home. What are you doing? Water jets exist. I saw this on TV like six, seven years ago. So it's not that long ago. I don't even know what the guy's name is, but um, yeah, man, get a water jet. Just be like, hey, yeah, can I order some sheet steel? Deliver it to this address. Hey, yeah, this address. Could you just uh, cut these this pattern out? Here's a here's a piece of cardboard. Just trace that, and then just hand me a box of blanks. Oh, I, I'm gonna lose eight percent profit, but I don't have to cut myself and kill myself with cutoff wheels. Well, yeah, fucking yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah.